You ever cut wood with one of these and it looks like a half of a skate ramp, it's all crooked and bent, and you just can't get a straight cut? Well, if you have, this is the video for you. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So buck saws and bow saws, they are definitely part of our arsenal as bushcrafters, but sometimes when you use them, people struggle, okay? They, they cut very, very crooked with them and they blame the saw when really they should be blaming themselves. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about two hot tips to avoid that crooked cut with your saw. If you spend a good amount of time behind a buck saw or a bow saw cutting wood, sooner or later you're gonna have that happen to you. You're gonna get that like ramping, like curving effect as you're sawing. It's very frustrating, especially if you need a nice flat piece for a project. If you've never had this happen to you, it generally gets over amplified the larger the piece of wood. So if you're just cutting small little branches or sticks, most of the time you're never gonna notice this. When you move up to bigger pieces of wood like this, you might notice it a little bit. And then if you ever get into like using a stump for a saw buck or anything like that or benches, it gets even worse. It generally happens to 90% of people till they learn these tricks. So that's why I'm here to eliminate that 90% and get that percentage down really low. It's just gonna be the people who haven't watched the channel. They're the only ones that are gonna be cutting crooked after this. So what to do? So this goes for both saws, okay? First of all, one thing that many people think is, well, my blade, um, it's moving. So I'll show you an example here if you can see. I can like twist this blade, all right? So people generally think I need to tighten this up more. So they tighten it so tight they either break the paracord or they cause damage to the saw. Bow saws, on the other hand, you can only tighten them so tight. You flip up the handle and they're sort of locked into place. But these things, they still have that flex. So you're never gonna totally get rid of that. Now, if the saw itself is all wobbly and, and not holding together really nice and tight, then it's time to tighten up the windlass. But it's not gonna make this stop flexing. So here's what you need to do. All right, so let's start with hot tip number one. All right, we have our piece of wood. We wanna cut that piece of wood. It is very important, okay, that when we are placing our saw and we decide what direction we wanna cut, all right? Meaning, I wanna cut nice and straight down here that our saw and our blade stay on that same plane, all right? It's very easy to sink my saw teeth in like this and start to turn my saw out, all right? That's called being lazy. You gotta keep control. You gotta make sure that your saw blade and your saw stay nice and straight just like when they're not touching anything, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here, all right? And we're gonna start to cut. Now what you're gonna notice when I do this is I'm letting the saw blade do the work. I am not putting excessive pressure onto the wood. I know it gets frustrating as you're cutting because you just want to get this thing cut. But if you're dealing with harder wood like this, okay, or dry wood, it's gonna take a little bit longer than normal to cut this, okay? So I'm just gonna draw back and forth, keeping my saw and my blade in line, okay? Now, as you go through this and you start to get tired, generally this starts to happen and people start cutting this way. When you do that, you're gonna feel a lot more tension on the blade and that blade now is starting to twist as it goes through the wood and you're going back and forth and that's causing that ramp style effect. So you really have to be aware when you're cutting where that saw is, where your hand is, and where the blade is. You make sure it's all lined up nice and straight. And if you do that, you're gonna end up with a nice clean cut every single time. But if that doesn't work, well, we're gonna move on to step number two, and that is it's probably time for a blade replacement. Listen, these blades, they wear out just like anything else. They get dull just like any other blade. If you pinch them between a piece of wood because of improper use, hit a rock, or you've been cutting twisted for a long time, it just it hurts the blade over time. So sooner or later, you're probably gonna have to replace that blade. Now, you can notice this blade has a lot of patina on it, I had this blade for a very long time and it's still in good working order. So the blades don't go bad quick, so don't just blame it really quick on the blades, but it could be just a fact that the blade's dull or the blade itself has slight damage, maybe damage you can't even see. So maybe if nothing else is working, it's time to replace it. 
So give these two hot tips a go, add them to your arsenal, more tools for the toolbox to make you all better outdoorsmen. And then uh, I think that's it. So all right, go get out your buck saws, bow saws, go practice, and then until the next video, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and stay in the woods.